Hey there, I am coming at you with some quick tips on how I save money in car ownership and maintenance repairs. So this is one topic in which I can consider myself that I know something about. Like I'm not an expert, but I kind of know what you're supposed to do and I've had really good success in doing it and then not such great success not doing it. So I can say that I've kind of learned from my mistakes on this one. So I have owned a total of six cars in my lifetime and only one of those has been new. And I can hands down say that owning that new car was the silliest thing I've ever done with money. That was something that I was advised to do by my dad and his intentions were absolutely um, good, but it just, it wasn't a good situation because even if you have a brand new car, you still have maintenance costs and really having that payment was not something that I needed straight out of college when I had the car. Um, it was great to have something reliable, but at the same time, there are ways you can have reliable cars, have a reliable car for less and not needing to have a car now and go into debt. So here are my tips on car maintenance and upkeep and how to save some money in doing that. So tip number one is to be very regular in your maintenance. Number one thing and the number one thing I do to extend the life of my cars is to get an oil change regularly every 3,000 miles. I know some of the newer models, my car, the um, I had a Civic, that was the car that I financed and at that point in 2004 when I financed it, you only needed to change the oil every 5,000 miles, but I still keep it at 3,000 to be safe. Um, and I just have a regular. So right now I'm driving a Toyota Camry 2004 and um, I have had such great, um, that car has been great. And before that I owned a 1998 Toyota Camry and that car was also great. I drove that car for two and uh, two years and some some months um, and that was fantastic. I couldn't have asked for more from that car and the only thing I did was regular oil changes. So that is the number one tip is to be very, very disciplined and um, rigorous in your maintenance. So tip number two is to do your research and know what kind of maintenance typically comes up at whatever mileage you have. So as I said, I, I tend to buy like um, earlier model cars, cars typically that are 10 years or more just because I A, like to uh, for the pure cost saving reasons, but also because um, I just feel like that's sort of better. And then I can think about like uh, my dream car and all that. But for this point in my life, I am debt free. I've bought, with the exception of the Civic, every single car I've owned has been bought with cash and usually from a private party as opposed to a dealer and all of them from a private party. Um, so do your research. So with, when I bought the Camry, um, the first one in the 96, I knew, so it had 160,000 180,000 miles and at that point I knew that the two biggest repairs after 100,000 miles are the timing belt and the water pump and I knew this because a friend of a friend was a mechanic and he was like ask if those two repairs have been done and they had so I bought it for I think $1,200 in um uh, the no in November of 2015 and that car lasted me until March of 2018 so that I got my money's worth out of that car and all I did was regular scheduled maintenance um, so I think I had to, I replaced the brakes and I replaced the tires, which are just standard things that need to be done. And I also, I think at one point I did a, a tune up on it. So replaced the spark plugs and I may have bought a new battery, but that was it. And I worked out like the cost to own per month. And I think it worked out to something like with all repairs and the cost of the car factored in the cost to own and drive that car monthly was like a hundred bucks. It costs like a hundred bucks a month to, to operate that car. Like you can't beat that. Um, so I knew when I bought the 2004 Camry that I was looking to see if the water pump had been replaced and by 2004, instead of a timing belt, they use a timing chain, which means it is less prone to breakage and the sort of micro cracks. So that was a good deal. Um, and I just knew that because I, number three, had built a relationship with this mechanic. He's, um, just someone that we've been to. He's just such a great guy. I got, I, I broke down one time in my driveway and he like, actually drove out he's got he's got kind of a gruff attitude but he's like stay where you are don't move I'm like okay so he came out and he like took a look at the car and I don't like to sort of tax his goodwill so I have uh, some other mechanics that I go to if I know what I need to get done but um he's just someone that's he, he's great like he's taken a look at cars for me like I've driven them to his place and he's just put them on the lift um free of charge so it's really great to have those relationships sort of in place and I remember there's I went to one Midas um in a town by me and I would ask for the first appointment on a Saturday and I would bring the staff bagels and cream cheese. And, you know, we just kind of had like a rapport going and they were really, really good to me um, until that location closed down, which was sad. But um, it was just a good sort of way 
to, um, and building that relationship, I feel like we were, we both kind of benefited because they got free bagels and I got some, I got a break on the repair that I got needed to get done because let's face it, like I knew that I would have to have these repairs done. And ultimately I knew all things, be, all things considered that it would end up saving me money. The thing that I, that you're kind of sacrificing when you go with a cash car, an older cash car, is the time, the knowledge, and the convenience. Because if you rent or you or if you lease or, or buy new or um, finance new, that's not to say you can't buy new in cash. People do that. Um, when you do that, you're also sacrificing the convenience of just being able to take it to a dealership and sitting there while they do you know your maintenance and their whatever um, uh, waiting rooms. But you're also um, if you can kind of parse out the repairs and figure out what you need you're going to ultimately save money in the long term, even if it costs you maybe a little bit of um, time on the on the front end. So that's my fourth plan is to do your, my fourth point is to do your research. So for example, again, um, with this car that I'm driving right now, I know that I need new tires. And what actually happened was I was driving a bunch of colleagues to lunch and it was raining and there were leaves on the road and I actually ended up hydroplaning um, because my tires needed to be replaced and it, my boss kind of brought that up because she drives an older car too. And she was like, Hey, you should check out this website for tires. And I had been budgeting. I was going to budget 450 for each in, for the full tire repair job. And I was like, okay, let me check it out. And I, I was kind of like skeptical, but she's like, just trust me, check it. So I did. And normal tire cost is about a hundred each, each tire. And these tires cost no joke, 46 bucks a piece. So I just ordered them on Tuesday, $196 for all four tires. Super excited. So they're scheduled to arrive on Friday, and my plan is to call around and see if I can get a mechanic to install them on Saturday morning. It should take no more than 15, 20 minutes for him to throw them on the car. I will pay him for an hour labor in cash, and hopefully I will have saved $200 and he will have made $200. So that's um, my plan for that maintenance um, and I got that by doing my research. And I will leave the link to the tire place below. It's called Auto Tires Direct or something like that. Um, but so those are my tips and sort of um, hints on how I save money in car maintenance. Just um, be rigorous in your schedule, plan, build relationships, and do your research. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, if you have any questions or if you have your tips on how to maintain a car, I would love to hear how you um, keep your car on the road. So thanks for watching and I hope you'll keep watching.